Yo, what's up? We are now outside of Circle K, uh, well, or uh, McDonald's at Furuset. And today we're gonna test now, side-by-side -side test between Tesla Model 3 Performance that I'm sitting in and Tesla Model 3 Long Range that Chris is sitting in. I know because of the current Corona situation with the English mutated version in Norway, uh, it's pretty strict. That's why we are keeping uh, social distance. So Chris is over there. I have it on the phone. Yo, Chris. Yo, what's up, peeps? <laughs> yeah, but you see, this is the beauty of it because we don't need to be close to each other at all. We just drive and we're going to measure consumption. Um, okay, so uh, prior to this, Chris has been charging for quite a while and then he's been camped also parked for actually almost an hour. So the battery his battery should be fairly okay, uh, not too hot. And for my battery, I'm at uh, 31 degrees. I also preheated the battery, so both cars should have similar battery temperature. I don't know his car because he doesn't have a scan my Tesla hooked up. But the plan now is that we will drive to Nebines together. And we have uh, air conditioning set to 21 degrees Celsius automatic. There is no drive mode or anything. Well, actually, uh, well, yeah, we also checked the tire pressure. The tire pressure is around 3, point, uh, 3 to 3.1 bar on both cars. So everything should be the same. I even took off the, the roof uh, cover here. You see, normally I will have it on. I put it in the back there. So the conditions for both cars should be identical. So now we just drive to Nebines. And also very important, Chris, don't navigate to the supercharger. No, I've chosen Nebines crew. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't have to nav navigate there because I know exactly where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it is. Yeah. Didn't I meet you there yesterday? No, that was Andal. Yeah, but I know where Nebines is, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But um, let's get uh, ready and then off we go. All right, we are on the move now. This is... Uh, I don't know, one of the hills, Kari, no, it's not Kari Hogan, but um, Chris, he is a little bit behind me, just right behind me there, uh, just 50 meters behind. He's, we both set, set the following distance of seven, and you see, we all, both of us, we have traffic anyway behind us, uh, in front of us. But uh, let's see now, uh, Chris, what is your consumption? My consumption is 230, no, 227, it just changed, 227. 227 minus 226. <laughs> minus 223 now. 222. 219. <laughs> uh, 218, it's neck on neck. 216. Huh? 216. 215, it's just neck 215. on... 215. <laughs> 215, this is, wow. Wait a minute. 210, 210. but we're going downhill. We just done like eight kilometers, so 205. Yeah, okay. So you see, right now it's actually almost identical. Wow. Yeah. I didn't expect that. I actually expected the performance to be slightly thirstier. Huh. D4? 198. Okay. But okay. Okay, so yeah. 189. <laughs> All right, okay. Cool. Pretty cool. All right. So uh, soon we will hit higher speed and then things might change. So uh, yeah, let's just keep going then towards Nebines. <laughs> yeah, great. We are now at Nebines and let's check the consumption. So, all right, Chris? Yeah, 186. Whoa, I have 195. Huh. Mm. Huh, so, um, so your car is actually more efficient. I think it's a combination of the wheels and I also have the spoiler. Yeah, wheel cap, yeah, that could be it. Those three things together. Because uh, the drive, the drivetrain on this car is supposed to be the exact same as, as the long range. Ah, okay. So they have the same drivetrain, interesting. Yeah, yeah, because the long range has the possibility to via software update, uh, up, software upgrade you can get the acceleration yeah. boost and then it becomes faster. So, yeah. You know, a test we could do later and I, I, I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. We're not going to do it now, but maybe we could get these two cars together again and we could swap the wheels. <laughs> okay. The spoiler. 
We can ask Marcus B, which are you're lending us both of these cars. We can do that one day to to really get down to the dirty. But yeah, that's uh, for another video. It doesn't work because uh, your wheels will not fit this car. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's uh, let's figure out now what to do. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna supercharge it. Look, look. Chris, 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 Chris is a noob. He's a, Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris, you're supposed to take that. You're supposed to take the rare one. What? You're supposed to take the other one here. You supposed. The layout, you su the layout of the supercharger, you're supposed to be, just look how the other guys do it. You see, you see? Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Yes. Okay, so I have to back up and go. Yeah, because there's a real chance that we're, it's going to be super full here, right? Um, no, but it's just, well, I mean, you can you can park like that and they'll be like, okay. oh, that's an, I, okay, okay. that's an Audi driver. Yeah, I'm sorry, every <laughs> Tesla fanboy out there. Um, please don't download this video or my video because of my incompetence, but I drive an Audi. So, uh, I don't know how to do this properly, so uh, <laughs> comment down below how dumb I am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move my Tesla now and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, my battery has cooled down to 42 degrees Celsius, roughly. I'm at 90%. Chris, he also charged up now, so he should also be around 40 degrees and uh, 90%. Okay, so the plan now that we will drive 90 kilometers per hour together to Espan back again. That's uh, where we see the distance here. Why, why is this there? So it's 60 kilometer round trip roughly. So uh, same settings, 21 degrees. Yes, off we go. Okay, we're on the move now. And uh, Chris, he's driving at 90 on his speedometer. And you will see that for me, it's 89. So, um, I guess this has something to do with a different uh, tire dimension. So he's an 18 and I'm on 19, so there's a slight difference there. Huh. Interesting, but we're getting close to the scale now. We have to check the weight of these cars. And then let's check. Okay, 1,940 kilos, okay? okay. Check here. All right, let's see. Oh, maybe I'm 20 wow. kilos heavier than you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so, but. <laughs> what? Same? That's the exact weight. Same, but different. Huh. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So you, isn't your your theory that uh, these two cars have the exact same drivetrain? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, exactly. You have a bigger battery. Yeah. I don't know so why. why is your car the same weight? I don't know. That makes no sense. Panasonic is better than LG. Yeah. Panasonic have lighter batteries. <laughs> okay, I will go first now. Yeah, go first, okay. Okay, let's go. Good luck. Yes. All right, we just turned around at uh, Espa and we are heading back to Nebenes right now. And uh, you see that uh, on the way up here, we, I was driving first. Chris was behind me with uh, five or something distance. I have seven distance right now. But uh, yeah, so now we rotate. So now Chris is driving in front, but I don't think I get that much drafting from him anyway. But okay, so Chris, what is your consumption now? Uh, 162. Oh, 169. Okay. Uh, 61. 168, okay, nice. All right, okay. We are back at uh, Nebenes now, uh, but we are not plugged in. Uh, that's the p one part of the test. So, um, all right, Chris, what is your consumption? Actually, 100. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, first, what is the distance? 62.4 kilometers. 62.4. So that means that uh, Chris's car is uh, actually point, 
0.8% over reporting according compared to this car. All right, and the consumption was 160. Okay, 160. So you see, uh, corrected then for distance, uh, Chris consumption was 161 and then mine was only 165. That is pretty close. That's 2% difference. Yeah, 2% difference only. But uh, what about uh, battery percentage? How much do you have? 75%. I have 76. Hmm, I actually spend less battery, but we, we need to do a uh, more, more run, the high speed run now to measure, uh, yeah, also, and also according to my theory, your car should be more efficient the faster we drive. Okay, then let's put that theory to the test. Yes, okay. Well, we're doing the high speed test now and uh, we've been rotating a little bit now. I've been on the front and then now Chris is in the front, but is, uh, Chris, you're, you're, uh, your blinker is stuck. No, 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 it's, I'm just uh, doing the Audi etiquette. I'm <laughs> left field again while blinking to the left, indicating to everybody that I want to pass them, even though there isn't a car in front of me. So this is just from the uh, uh, e-tron instruction manual. <laughs> Driving like an Audi. Mm -hmm. We are now back at Nebenes and there is a tow truck there. There was a Model X that came here with no juice. <laughs> uh, I guess they learn eventually. But okay, anyway. So, um, all right. Uh, let me see. Chris, what is your distance? 62.2 kilometers. Okay, slightly more, but uh, okay. All right. And then what about the consumption? 205 watt hours per kilometer. Yeah. So you see... Uh, on the previous run at 90 kilometers per hour, the difference was only 2%. But now at 120 kilometers per hour, then the difference is 5%. Huh? That is probably because of the wheels and maybe my spoiler is, well, what's his name? It spoils the, the, the aerodynamics, but I have more downforce. So this is uh, interesting that your car, yeah, well, this, it makes sense. Yeah, 5% more yeah, efficient. Yeah. But uh, how many percent battery do you have then? Fifty-six percent. Hey, this is this is confusing. Uh, this one says fifty-seven percent, but we actually have fifty-eight percent. Maybe the battery is starting to cool. Oh yeah, it's steady. Oh, it's it's getting cold. Yeah. So fifty-six versus fifty-eight percent. We both start with ninety percent. So you see, um, this car has the. 76 kilowatt hour battery and then uh, the other car that chris is in it has 70 kilowatt hour so my car here has eight percent more capacity and then mm. but the long range has then lower consumption but that that means that <laughs> the performance for some reason has more range than the long range it doesn't make sense because not traditionally with the old cars they had the same battery, you know, the, the classic cars. But now we have different type of batteries. And even people who have the, uh, because I had the Panasonic battery and he has the, the LG battery, but some long range also get the Panasonic battery. But what I heard is that they, they block part of the capacity so that uh, they also have 70 kilowatt hour. That should actually mean that lucky people with Panasonic battery will have less degradation or faster charging towards 100%. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Uh, but the funny thing is that your car, which is called a long range, has <laughs> has a, lo a shorter range. And the performance has more range than the long range. Yeah. But... Makes sense. Makes yeah. Sense. <laughs> but the other funny thing is that my car, the performance is slower than a long range. <laughs> so I don't know how much, but I think if we did a drag race now, Chris might win with a long range. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. But okay, so that was a pretty cool test. Finally, we have tested side by side, exact same conditions, exact same time. And it turns out that the long range is more efficient, but I'm surprised that the performance was really close. We're talking about two to five percent only. So um, yeah, I think 
that's gonna be it for now guys uh, and also uh, you can also watch Chris's video he also shot a video from uh, that car so if you want to see that one you could go check out Chris's video I'll link it in the description good stuff so uh, thank you Chris for uh, joining me on this uh, trip thank you for joining me on this trip yeah always a pleasure <laughs> yeah. so Same thing. that's gonna be it for that guy but, oh, man, let me get me. That's going to be it then. <laughs> Thank you for watching and talk to you later. Right, a little bonus material. I know you guys want to know this. I want to know this. We plug in at the non-shared supercharger. I make sure that we are not shared, uh, which actually doesn't matter anyway. But let's see now. So we are both plugged in. Look here. Chris, how many kilowatt are you getting? 32 kilowatts. 32. I'm getting only 21 kilowatt. This is what I've seen before, that the Panasonic battery has less cobalt in it and it's more heat uh, coal sensitive. So <laughs> even though I have more range than Chris, this battery, coal gates more. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I guess, you know, this case here, yes, it, it charges pretty slow, but normally you don't charge it at 58%. And also normally you would navigate to the supercharger and then both batteries will preheat and then it would be more even. But just showing you uh, worst case, yeah, 20 kilowatt now. What do we do, Chris? 31. 31. Wow. That is, that is pretty huge. <laughs> do you know what car that doesn't uh, Colgate? Well, is it something that starts with E and ends with Tron? Yes! <laughs> do you, Chris, do you know that the e-tron has the same consumption as two Model 3s? It's twice the fun! <laughs> oh, Alright, that was pretty awesome. Okay, alright, I'll talk to you guys later then.